can I ask you a quick question? One, do you think that these same phenomena are occurring more or less identically in the other languages uh, that are participating in the Wikipedia experience? And two, do you think that Wikipedia's um, accumulation of content in other languages is giving it a false credit sense, a false credibility? I think that each of the different um, languages, by dint of being different languages, their own approaches to community. I have been approached by people who are, say, I think in the Polish Wikipedia, there's a big thing of like, they don't do, you know, they're mean and stuff. There's one in the uh, Japanese Wikipedia. It's very critical. Does not allow people to talk about any person. It's very, very much a case. In, in, in um, Japan, you can't mention people in the press and stuff unless they are specifically, you know, politicians and so on. So there's things that cause different things that we don't have to deal with. In the German Wikipedia, they've already moved to the inevitable beta release program, which Wikipedia will eventually move to, is my prediction, which is, guess what? The article you're editing is not the article that immediately goes up to the world. Problem is it kills energy. They don't want to kill, now that they might want to kill energy now, you work it on this, maybe once an hour you make the change. But what that will do is that will actually remove 90% of what I find wrong with Wikipedia because it'll immediately kill that urge, right? You, you automatically go in there. Well, Germany already did it. Germany's already got a beta release program in, 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 in uh, place. They are very specific about not naming living people in certain ways. So I think part of it with the other ones is also they're small. A classic example is the simple English Wikipedia, a misguided attempt to create a version of Wikipedia for people who couldn't read very well. It didn't get much traction, so when somebody wrote that George Bush killed somebody, it stayed there for six months because so few people were paying attention to it. So it didn't have that, um, it didn't have that necessary slave race that Wikipedia has to have to be able to keep things constantly up and going and constantly quality checking. So, so I think there's actually more case of they are all along the same eventual evolutionary path. I just debate whether or not, say, the Romanian Wikipedia will ever get past a certain point and not a chummy group of Romanians. But it, they'll still maintain that balance. I mean, I don't know Romania all that well. We only slept together twice. But they, if they have a political bias that says, you know, like, for instance, the rape of Nan King in Japan is, you know, you can't really get, you know, so how, I'd love to see how that article's handled on the Japanese Wikipedia. You know, you have that kind of a deal with this cultural. So that's my, that's my, th that's my principle thought about it, but again, not speaking those languages. I'm an ass. Hmm? I mean, don't we empower Wikipedia to be shitty? I mean, nothing has any power unless we give it power. We, we think that Wikipedia is more reputable than asking some homeless man on the street a question. So isn't it kind of our fault? I think it's more like, I think it's more like, um, you know, they were trying to figure out, there's different theories as to why we all became so fat. And one of the reasons that was finally decided that was a pretty good one was there's an awful lot of cheap, tasty food out now where it wasn't. Sounds like a pithy statement, but it's very true. There wasn't a lot of cheap, tasty food constantly everywhere. We're to the point there might as well be McDonald's in bins for free on the corners. And the thing is, is that when that happens, we're all just going to friggin' blow it up because we have that, right? Well, with Wikipedia, it's like, well, here's an ener enormous amount of information constantly coming at you for free and can be used in any way you want to so it can go everywhere. So it's literally a case of just cheap. T so, it's, it's, so part of it is we, but I think part of it is just exploiting a piece of human humanity that just says, geez, you know, when the first caveman figured out he could like get this fire half, call, half off. And anyway, yes, sir. I think, I, think, I, think, uh, I think the phrase, do you believe Googles, was just funny on its own. <laughs> do you believe Googles? <laughs> the Googles. Um, I think that there's a temporary thing with that. I think that there's a situation where Google is causing artificial weighting in certain directions. All Google has to do at this point, because it currently has a critical mass, is unintentionally... I mean, the reason everyone uses a piece of shit like front page is simply because Microsoft took one of many companies that were working on remote editable web page software and said, we're going to work with this one. And they took it. And its foibles, its approach, its weird file extension is all an extension of a very large monopoly or large 
uh, dominant organization making a choice. Wikipedia's choice um, for, by Google um, is definitely a contributing factor to this. Um, but I think, it's, uh, I think it's, it's indicative of a lot of it. Like a, the, 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 the Trillion um, uh, talking client, the default is when you talk to people, it will underline words. And when you click on them, you'll get the Wikipedia description of what it was. Whatever that may be. Uh, Answers.com uses Wikipedia, pays it for it, pays Wikipedia for the use of it, and keeps, I think, four to five weeks behind Wikipedia. So if there's something wrong on Wikipedia four weeks ago, it'll still be on Answers.com. It'll still be on um, Reference, I think. References might be Reference. And of course, there's spam sites that simply take Wikipedia articles, change every word to um, their company name, and then put it up. Very effective. Anyway. All right, I think one more, yes. I'm bothered by the fact that any time anybody else comes up with anything that's like Wikipedia, they are immediately shot down and called bastards. Really bothers me. It's like having one car company and someone else comes along and wants to come up with a car, and someone goes, how can you even imagine to come up with a car? And your car has five wheels. Nobody does five wheels. And the guy goes, yes, that's why I'm doing five wheels. Well, Conservapedia is just another polemic site that's going to have collaborative editing, its own biases, and it's whoop fucking we. I mean, you know, it's like, OK, great. You know, basically, a wiki is a BBS where everyone gets to fuck with everybody else. <laughs> it's a forum where the guy you're fighting with gets to change what you said. <laughs> and so people who are content with that will put up stuff. Conservapedia, Citizendium, um, there's wiki, there's all, all these little abortion wikis that are like, you know, basically um, all the stuff that's run by wiki, uh, you know, like let's just have one on this. And, and I've come up against some of them, um, you know, and some of them are run very poorly and some of them are kind of cute in their own way. There's one called the IF wiki that I found in accordance with a documentary I'm working on. And it is run by, hi, I love you too. Um, yeah, I know, got to get out of here. All right, so anyway, ifwiki.org is a good example to me that is run extremely well because they stick to the facts, they stick to the information, and they work together to make everything better. So there are positive aspects of this. All right, we gotta go. Thank you very much for your time.